And these are the kings that reigned in the land of Edom, before there reigned any king over the children of Israel. And Bela, the son of Beor, reigned in Edom, and the name of the city was Dinhava, when Bela died, and Jovab, uh, the son of Hazera of Bozra, reigned in his place, and Jovab died in Hushram, the land of Hamni reigned in his place, and Hushram died in Hadad, the son of Hadad, who smote Midian in the field of Moab, reigned in his place, and the name of the city was Avid, and Hadad died, and Samla of Masrekah reigned in his place, and Samla died, and Sha'ul of Rehovah, by the river reigned in his place, and Sha'ul died, and Baal Hanan, the son of Akbor, reigned in his place, and Baal Hanan, the son of Akbor, died, and Hadar reigned in his place. The name of the city was Ha'u, and his wife's name was Mehetavel, daughter of Mashred, daughter of Mizahab. These are the names of the chiefs that came of Esau, according to their families, after their places by the names the chief Timnah, the chief Alava, the chief Yetet, the chief Aholabama, the chief Ella, the chief Hinnon, the chief Kenaz, the chief Taman, the chief Mizar, the chief Magdiel, the chief Iram. These are the chiefs of Hadam, according to their settlements in the land of their possession. He is Esau, the father of Adam. But you should have, and your Ochwok dwelt in the land in which his father had sojourned in the land of Canaan. These are the generations of Ochwok. Joseph, being seventeen years old, was feeding the flock of his brethren. And the land was the sons of Bilha, with the sons of Zilpha, his father's wives. And Joseph brought to his father their evil report. Now Israel loved Joseph more than all his children, because he was a son of his old age and made him a coat of long sleeves. And when his brethren saw that their father loved him more than all his brothers, they hated him and could not speak peacefully to him. And Joseph dreamed a dream, and he told it to his brethren, and they hated him yet more. And he said to them, Here I pray you this dream which I have dreamed. For behold, we were binding sheaves in the field, and oil my sheep arose, and also stood upright. And behold, your sheaves stood round about, and bowed down to my sheep. And his brethren said to him, Shalt thou indeed reign over us, or shalt thou indeed have dominion over us? And they hated him, but to the more for his dreams and for his words. And he dreamed yet another dream, and told it to his brethren, and said, Behold, I have again dreamed a dream, and behold, the sun and moon and the eleven stars bowed down to me. And he told it to his father and to his brothers, and his father rebuked him, and said to him, What is this dream that thou hast dreamed? So I and my mother and my brothers indeed come to bow down ourselves to thee and to the earth, and his brothers to envy him. But his father kept the matter in mind, and his brothers went to feed their father's flock in Shechem. And Israel said to Joseph, Do not thy brothers feed the flocks in Shechem? I come, and I will send thee to them. And he said to him, Here I am. And he said to him, Go, I pray thee, see whether it be well with thy brothers, and well with the flocks, and bring me word again.